What's up guys, Shoshana's Trends here. I have been missing an action Jackson because I really just had to take time to get to work on myself. I felt like I wasn't, I wasn't depressed, but I also wasn't happy. Like I would look at myself like, girl, you getting fat, girl. And I had like the whole triple chin going on. And which brings me to where I am today. I, you guys recently lost 21 pounds. Round of applause for you, girl. It has not been easy, and it has taken up so much of my time because I almost become like obsessed with working out, which I guess is not a bad thing. So I went from, well, I guess I've never been like super like huge, but I've always been like bigger than others, especially because I'm short. I'm only five two and a half. I say five three. You say oranges. I say apples. Same thing. Five two, five three. Don't judge. So basically. I was like 120, 128 was like my average weight, but that's in high school. Keep in mind, everybody else in high school is not 128, 130. I was 128, 132. Everybody else was like 115 in high school, and I'm, you know, the thicker one. I've always been the thicker out of the bunch. Follow up. So then as I got older and graduated high school, I was like 144, and I was like, wow, that happened, that like escalated really, really quick. So then I was a consistent 144. Up until about like a year ago, I was like 157, 160. The highest I recently got to was 166. And that's when I was like, okay, it's time for a change. Here's some before and after pictures. Basically, what I let me just kind of tell you guys how I lost the weight. First of all, it's your mindset. You have to tell yourself you want to lose the weight, you're going to lose the weight. Because I was like, weight does not come off of me. I'm meant to be thick, like I got the whole booty, all that. But I also had like the neck, the arms. I still kind of got the arms, but they're toned up. Like you can see the little dent if you squint right right there. So basically, I had to tell myself, like, okay, Trishana, you know. If you make excuses, you're never going to do it. So I had to change my hair. I got braids. You guys seen I had dreads. Like, I had braided styles, but we're wearing protective styles so that I can sweat with ease and I have to worry about my hair because that could be a big excuse for ladies is the hair. So eliminate that out of the category. So I was like, okay, hair's done, check. I was like, okay, mindset, mindset, mindset. If you can change anything that you do and you can control your life why not do it you can't control everything in this world but things you can control take control of it i started going to sleep earlier sometimes i still stay up late i'm a night owl um and i wake up early so the first thing was waking up early being getting that mindset of okay i want to be productive today so i would start going to sleep trying to wake up early i wake up about 7 30 every morning and I'm like, okay, wake up early, ready to take on the day. So that's another mindset you have to have. You have to be physical, or physically ready or just have a mindset like, okay, I'm ready to take on the day. I'm ready to do something great today. I'm ready to do something today that my future self will thank me for tomorrow or later on down the road. So I was like, okay, that's the mindset. Boom. Now, I was like eating healthy because you can work out all day long, but if you're not eating healthy, you're not going to drop the weight. So I was like, okay, let me switch out my diet. It started off gradually. Like I had to gradually cut out potatoes, gradually cut out carbs, gradually cut out things like that. So now if I want pasta, I use zucchini noodles and you know, it's just making those everyday lifestyle changes. I always keep a snack with me. I always keep like pretzels, granola, something to munch on because while the rest of the world is pulling up at McDonald's, you are not. So make sure you guys have something to snack on. The other thing was holding myself accountable. I would post a picture. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, add me, at Trishana. I hold myself accountable literally every day. So I try to post a picture every single day, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, something, so that way people know and I tell myself, okay, I actually came. Like, I'm here. People are starting holding me accountable. What's crazy is I also start posting what I eat every single day on Snapchat. So I start posting, like, breakfast. Not even thinking anything of it, I'll just post like breakfast. It'll be like a healthy meal, I'll put breakfast. And then I start posting like lunch. And then people start snapping me their breakfast. So I'm like, hold up. Okay, I see you, like you, okay, you eat healthy too. So I'm like, okay, we're eating healthy. 
then more, more people started snapchatting me their breakfast so i'm like wow this is like becoming a thing so it's like as i really start getting into it and holding myself accountable it's like you guys held me accountable as well because people would really snap me again what they're eating and then people start asking me like let's work out let's you know work out with me let me work out with you so i start working out with other groups and luckily my trainer i cannot forget about him i've been working on working out with him off and on for three years but he always tells me do not waste my time you come in here and you go home eat whatever you want to eat i'm not at home with you i can't see what you eat do not waste my time he said you either want it or you don't and that that's been sticking so that's another thing it's literally all in your mind if you feel tired lazy whatever it's all in your mind tell yourself keep going you can do anything you are in control of your life take control of your life you guys and that also led me to do a 10 day health and fitness challenge so i literally um got people to sign up and people are now literally on my challenge like it's crazy People actually, I made grocery lists for people, made fitness videos, and people actually are like really trying to make a change. And here's just some things that we talk about in our group. It's like super, it's super exciting. People show me their like their breakfast, their lunch. Like it's crazy. Like I'm really motivating people, and you guys are keeping me, you guys are keeping me going. So here's just some stuff that we talk about in this group we hold each other accountable by sending pictures and everyone's like i love this if you guys want to be a part of my 10 day challenge i will have another one coming up just comment below or snapchat me or message me and so you can be part of my 10 day challenge eight bucks whatever it's really really cheap um so yeah that's just basically what i've been doing so you guys stay tuned i'm going to have way more fitness videos um I'm gonna kind of switch into that gear more in fitness and fashion because I literally it's like my lifestyle now you guys like I dropped 21 pounds I dropped 21 pounds I was 166 I'm now 144 yay sorry my phone is ringing so I got distracted but yeah so basically my goal is to get down to 135 once I get down to the 135 and cut like the fat I want to put on like five pounds of muscle so yeah, that's basically all that I want to do. If you guys are interested, please comment. Again, my Snapchat is at Trishana and change your life now. Like, you only get one life. Live it to the fullest. Why not? So thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos. And subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video.